Welcome back to the show. If you uh, have ever read the Bible, the words loaves and fishes will have one connotation for you. For the people of ne in need in Ottawa, it has a whole other connotation, and it is with that note, I introduce our next guest, Leslie Ann Ugama. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having you me. You are the board, your board member for Loaves and Fishes Ottawa. What is the Loaves and Fishes? Loaves and Fishes is a charity that was created by my grandfather, Mr. Pat Butler. And essentially what we are is a middleman to donate to other local charities in Ottawa. Right, so we were talking earlier, uh, because I think that you know you, your charities are what, the Ottawa Mission, at Salvation Army, mm -hmm. Ottawa Food Bank. Uh, not to say that we wouldn't donate to others, but those have been the, the major ones for the last several years. The major recipients. And I think like, you know, if you're, if you're in the gala world at all, you are aware that all of these have got fundraisers and galas and events that they do to raise money. But I think a lot of people on Ottawa don't realize that there's, like you say, the middleman, another charity that raises money for a charity. Yeah, and that's something that's not necessarily known, but um, that, that's what we're there for, is to donate to those other charities, um, and we're happy to support them. Right. So, so what does the, the you, every year you, you donate uh, a certain amount, and, and so far you've raised more than a million dollars, which is a considerable amount. Congratulations. So how does it break down? You've got these major charities, and what do they get every year? So last year, like you said, we hit our million-dollar mark, um, which was huge for us. Um, it's something that we're very proud of. And last year, we were able to donate 25000 each to the Ottawa Food Bank, Salvation Army, and the Ottawa Mission. So that was pretty pretty uh, big for us to be able to write those those big checks to those charities. Um, but just because we raised a million does not mean that we're not giving up because we hit that threshold. We're going to continue raising money so that we can write bigger checks to them. Yeah, absolutely. So when you say you're writing a check, I mean, uh, everybody knows about the food bank and, and there's drives to drop off your your canned goods and whatever whatever else. You guys donate money. So what happens with that money? Um, the, the food bank has told us that, yes, we're donating money, which is a little different than donating canned goods, like you're saying, because we're helping not just with feeding them, but nutrition. So the level of nutrition is, is being raised because we're not just giving them canned goods. Um, there's more nutritious options that are available to them. Well, especially through the meal plans that they have and, and the kitchens and, and all that kind of thing. So perhaps some of that money goes into in ingredients as well? Yeah, it goes, they're, they're allowed to use the money however they see right. fit, but they have, um, they've gone on record saying that we, um, Luckily, they are able with our money to, you know, put it towards something more nutritious. Nutritious, right. sorry. <laughs> One of the things that I thought was really cute was that this has really been a family-run organization. So it was your grandfather, his two daughters, and yourself. Yes. And now it's grown to the point where you actually are putting your hands up for volunteers. Yeah, it, I mean, when we started in 1999, um, we didn't have... Uh, it wasn't as big as it is now. Last year, we had... 423 people come, so we need more than just three bodies uh, running the whole show, oh let's say. Goodness, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's myself, my two aunts, and then we're lucky to have people who are donating their time because that's all it is, is we're just donating our time. We all have full-time jobs, um, we all have families. It's just us donating our time and uh, we, we're lucky enough to have people who have volunteered to help us. Well, Ottawa's lucky to have you guys, obviously, you know, as we're celebrating Volunteer Week, that's the thing, right? So the, the event is on May 6th at the Shaw Centre. What is it going to look like? So guests arrive, um, then they are welcomed by a silent auction, all of which are auction items are donated by our sponsors, which is amazing. They can range from women's sunglasses to women's jewellery, men's jewellery, uh, lawn mowers, uh, TVs, any electronics, small <laughs> electronics. I know everything but the kitchen sink. Pretty much, that's that's what's uh, what's available for auction. And then you sit down, you have a five course dinner, um, a wonderful dinner that the Shaw offers. And during this time, we start our live auction, which is really the, you know that's where we make our money is our live auction. And we have some more higher end items that again are all donated, but they can range from. Um, concert tickets, which would be suites that are offered at Canadian Tire Centre, um, small uh, 
bikes, it can be anything. We've we've auctioned off a car before, so wow. it's, we have no limits, and, and it's all donated. So every every dollar that goes in is is going right back out. So. Oh, that's fantastic! So where can people find tickets, and how much are they? So the tickets are two hundred and ten dollars. Um, we also offer tables of six for two thousand and tables for eight for twenty five hundred. And you can just go to our website and go to the contact information and. It's all there, and you can contact us. And uh, easy peasy. Yeah. Well, you know, and there's so many galas in this city, but this one is is really a, a grassroots. You know, going right to where the need is. I think, right? Yeah, and we've kind of flown under the radar until you know the last couple of years, but we're finding that the more public we are, the more support we're getting. So why right. not uh, make some make noise? Aware. <laughs> yeah, make exactly. some noise. So, so you need volunteers? Are you looking? Should we be calling people out? We, I mean, we will. We'll take anything and anyone. So we'll take. You know, a lot of our sponsors can't come to the event. That's okay. Donate gifts. We'll use them. We will right. make money off them. If people want to volunteer their time. That's always helpful too. Right, so. and so who are some of your major sponsors? Um, there's a lot in, obviously, in the Ottawa area. We have Tierney Stauffer, uh, Henry Warren, Welch LLP, my family's company, Ugama Nicholson and Associates, um, some of the major uh, dealerships, Embram Ford, Dan Murphy Ford, Lincoln Heights, um, wow. RV Canada, South Bank Dodge, Capital Dodge. Uh, there's so many that continue to come every year. Awesome. Well, yeah. you know what? Good luck with this. Thank you and, so much. and thank you for feeding Ottawa. That's really great. Uh, we are going to be back after, right after this with Amy Kudrinko. Julie is going to interview her, and she is from Doors Open Ottawa, which is coming up. Stay tuned.